Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome back to my Stranded Deep Let's Play. This is Season 1, we're on Part 2, and um, I've just been finishing chopping up some trees here. It is getting dark, so I need to make a fire. Um, so let's go ahead and make a fire. We need five sticks for a fire, so four and five. There we go, campfire. Can't put it on there, it's got to go on the ground. Um, I'm thinking like right here. Yeah, that'll work. And then we take our trusty lighter if we still have it on us. And there we go. And we got some light. The game doesn't get that dark. It seems um, It seems like the moon is... Man, that moon is really strong. It's almost like this is like a million years ago when the moon was like a lot closer to Earth or something. Because that moon is ridiculously strong. Alright, let's take a look at our vitals. I haven't looked at my vitals yet. So, um, hold down F. And we're getting a little hungry. A little bit thirsty. It's, you know, not a big deal. I would think you would get thirsty before hungry, but, you know, what do I know? Alright, let's go ahead and make some more walls. Uh, where's my hammer? There it is. Wall. Come on, wall. There you go. Whoops. I need to throw my hammer up there. I really made a mistake by making this damn thing so freaking high up. So stupid. Alright, so put down some of these. Put down some of these. Grab our hammer. And let's make the roof. There we go. Nice little roof. Looking good. Now let's see if we can get in this thing. Yeah, we can get in it. And uh, let's make another wall. Why not? Alright, so we need some more sticks. I don't see any more sticks out here. The moonlight's a godsend. I don't know, like, how much the moonlight's gonna, like... Like, how many days the moonlight will be like that. But it seems, like, really bright. Where'd the other one go? I thought I had two. I think I might have lost one. Oh well, whatevs. Alright, let's go ahead and cut down another uh, tree. I don't like cutting down all these trees because I'm assuming that the coconuts will regrow. Uh, unless you cut them down. So, I'm not really happy about cutting them down so much. But we probably won't stay on this island for very long. Alright, so uh, I, got the, I got the Steam page open for the game. By the way, if you guys want to know more about this game, look in the description. I've got all the info you're ever going to need. And I'm going to look at the developer's roadmap right now. Uh, these are things they, they want us to know about, okay? Uh, they're going to be dealing with bugs. Um, the, uh, the, the things we want and the things we know you want. That's what they, want. That's what they meant. Um, I read it wrong. It's not easy to play a game and read stuff at the same time. Anyway, um, they want to be dealing with bugs. Um, a lot of effort has been put in into making sure your Stranded Deep experience is as bug-free as possible if the game is in early access. That's You guys got to remember, this game is in early access. There's going to be bugs. There's going to be problems. We just need to deal with it. Like the fact that whenever you look in the in your like uh, shadow, that it doesn't have your body. It just has whatever you're holding in, as your shadow. So... Uh, just, you know, we all know what that's like. I mean, if you guys are watching me, I do early access games. You know what you're in for. So, um, to, I haven't been playing this game for very long, but to be perfectly honest, it seems relatively, you know, pretty decent with the bugs at the moment. So, I'm quite happy about that. All right. Let's go ahead and put some of this stuff in there. Put some of this stuff in there. Grab my hammer. Make a wall. There we go. Alright, we got a little hut. A little hut to live in. Pretty sweet. I like it. I like it. Let's sit down. Let's take a little bit of a rest here. Let's read from the developer's roadmap. Uh, other things they are looking forward to, or they're looking towards improving the game is performance. Optimization performance is, uh, is an important ongoing process that will continue through the early access period. Um, island and terrain variety, creating more unique biomes and biome parameters uh, for different procedural procedure, procedural generations. 
<laughs> good stuff, good stuff. So it sounds like they're really active and they're really, you know, taking this seriously. So that's good. It's always, it's always good to hear because with these early access games, a lot of time it's a little scary, you know, that maybe they're not like worrying about it or whatever. They're just in it to get our money and, you know, whatever. I mean, they are in it to get our money, but, you know. Oh, look at this. My crude axe is not doing too well. How do I... There's got to be a way to transfer stuff. Nah. There's not. That's a shame. Oops. Alright. Alright, I'm going to show you guys how to eat, and then we're going to go on an adventure, because um, we only have about 15 minutes left in this video, and uh, I do want to get off this island at some point. So I'm going to show you guys how to eat. Let's grab some coconuts. Grab our water bottle. And let's come on over here. Throw these on the ground. Alright, now there's two ways to deal with these coconuts. You could use the axe, or you can use the, uh, the knife. I'm not sure... If one's better than the other or whatever, but there you go. Coconut. It turns into a coconut, then it turns into a drinkable coconut. Um, so we'll pick that up. See, we got green coconut. Green coconut. Coconut. That's basically the coconut right now is... It's basically the green coconut, except they removed all the outer stuff. Then you go to drinkable coconut, and if you keep hitting it... If I can hit it... It'll turn into coconut halves, and you can eat those. You can also use your knife for this. I'm not sure which one's better. Um, oh, the knife actually has a durability, too. That's that's scary. Drinkable. All right, let's check our stats. We are really hungry, so let's go ahead and eat these coconut halves. Oops. Wait. Eat it, man. There we go. And let's see what that did for me. Hey, it didn't do too bad. I think you give me like one bar. Let's see. We got one, two, three, four hunger bars. Let's eat one. One, two, three. Yeah, it gives you one hunger bar per coconut. That's pretty good. Let's drink some of these too. Now, I think these uh, these drinkable coconuts have more than one drink in them. So we've actually got quite a bit of drink in the game. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get some more food coconuts. And then we'll get off this island and see what we can find. Come on. Hit it. There we go. Alright, that's pretty good. Let's get in our uh, little raft here and see what we can find. Go on a little adventure. Probably get eaten by some sharks, but whatevs. Um, like I said, there's not a lot of information on this game. If any of you guys know where I can find more information, I would be really grateful. So, uh, yeah, that'd be cool. Let's head on towards that island. Hmm. Do I have to, like, push this out or something? Oh, no, no. I gotta pull it out, don't I? Come on. I can't move. Am I pulling it or what? Nope. Damn it. Can I pick it up? No. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's get going. Let's see what we can find. Oh, really? I can't hold that? Oh, there we go. You could just hold down the button for all this stuff. What's that? Sharks. Alright, here we are on the high seas. You know, it's not as easy as uh, salt, you know? Maybe I can make, like, some kind of, um... Ooh, what's that music? Maybe I can make some kind of, uh, sail. Oh, where'd the island go? Oh my god, sharks are following me. What the hell? Where'd the island go? It just disappeared. Oh god, I hope it's still over there. This might be an untimely end. Seriously, where'd that island go? Oh my god, I'm screwed. There was an island out here, now it's gone! Oh god. <laughs> oh god! 
Oh my goodness. I think I'm in trouble. Well, we're just gonna see where we're going here. There's nothing out here. What is that? Are those sharks still following me? What is that? It's like a boat. Look at that boat. Yeah, there's no way I'm going down there with those freaking sharks. I don't know, man. <coughs> Is that another shark? Yep, another shark. Nothing going on here, sharky. I think whenever that sound happens, that doon doon, it's because there's a shark in the area. Come on, there's nothing out here but sharks. I saw a freaking island. Well, I think I'm screwed, guys. I'm just going to keep going this way. This is going to be a pretty boring end of an episode, though. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I saw a thing out here. Oh, food's not doing too good. Whoa. It's a pretty scary game. I don't think I'm going to find anything out here, but I got 10 minutes left on this video. <laughs> if I find another uh, another ship, I'll go dive down and see what's going on. Just, I don't care if I die. We should probably eat something, though. Alright, looking good. See, I think if you were really out on the... Uh, out on the open seas like this, your big problem would not be food. It would be water. I think, and I know this is early access, and they want to. They're probably going to balance the game, but um, I really think they need to make the the dehydration more of an issue uh, than the than the hunger. But. Man, there is nothing out here. Whenever you hear that music, it's definitely sharks. Whoever thought the ocean would be this empty? Oh, there's an island. I see it. There you are. Now, I wonder if that's the same island. Maybe it got foggy, so I couldn't see it until I was closer. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. It does look pretty foggy out here, though. Man, there's some weird-looking stuff in the water, too. Now, if I didn't see an island, I would go down there and die for that ship. I probably should anyway. I should find out what happens when you die. But I, I got eight minutes left on this video, so I don't want to die just now. Maybe I'll come out and grab that ship and... Uh, at the end of the video. I'm just not sure how much, um, how much this game has to it, you know? Like, how much, uh, how much, like, um, content the game has yet. Nobody knows anything about it, so. Yeah, eat that, you stupid sharks. Hate you. Okay. So let's see what we got here. I wonder if we can sharpen a stick. Nope. Yeah, like I said, I'm not really sure what I can do just yet, so... I'm gonna explore this island, see if there's anything interesting on here. Doesn't look like there is. I see what they mean by more variety of islands. The, right now the islands just look all the same. They're beautiful. Um, they really are, but they kind of look all the same. I 
I should get some more food. Let's go on up here and get some more food. I always feel scary. Going up there! Oh my god, did I lose health? Nope. Alright, let's cut some of these suckers up. Cut them up. I don't want to cut them up with that though. I'm going to use the knife. Uh, where's the knife? Number six? Number eight? Yep, number eight. Come on, I need food! It's a little hard to hit these things. Especially with the knife. Screw it. She's the axe. No, I didn't want to pick that up. Pick up the halves. So I can eat, yo. Sorry. We watch a lot of Breaking Bad lately. <laughs> so everything's yo this and yo that. Come on. Damn it. There you go. All right, screw it. Let's check out that that thingamabob. I'll use my knife down there. If any shark comes at me, we'll see what's up. See, now those are... This is where I came from, and I didn't see those islands. So I think what happens is when you get out on the high seas, um, the fog kind of rolls in. I'm not sure if it was just the, like that point when the fog rolled in or what, but yeah, it seems to be a fog when you get out there, so... You can't really see the islands once you're out there. Freaking shark, man. Why don't you get the hell out of here, man? Just wait until I make a spear. Punk ass shark. Now, where was this boat? It was out here somewhere. Is it where that water's coming up? What's with that water coming up? What is that? What the hell? That's a ship, right? Oh god, that shark's right underneath me. Yep. He's just waiting for me to go in that water. Punk ass shark. Just get the hell out of here, man. I can't believe he's following me like that. Well, I guess it makes sense. He wants to eat. Oh, yeah, he's following me. What a dick. I'm gonna stab him. I'm gonna stab him right in his shark face. Here we go. You want, you want to dance? Let's dance. Where's my knife? Come on. Come on, Sharky. Come on, you punk ass. Let's dance. What? 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 Where are you going? Come on! Man, you're a freaking punk. Alright, whatever, dude. Wasting my time. I can't believe he didn't attack me. <laughs> Look what the hell's he waiting for. Come on, push the damn thing out. Can I, can I pop this? Why is this thing moving? There's got to be an easy way to move this. There we go. Alright, whatever. I'm going for that ship. I don't care. I 
that shark looks at me funny, I'm gonna stick him in the eye with my freaking with my knife. I call it the tiger shark sticker. I'm gonna get my tiger shark sticker. There we go. Oh my god, it's dark. How do I loot it? Oh. Oh, duct tape. How do I know what, like, when I don't have any air? I guess when I die. Alright, did that take any of my health? Yeah, it took a little bit of my health. It's in here. A torch. That's not a torch, it's a flashlight. Alright, let's get that flashlight. That will be nice. We'll also get the duct tape. I'm sure we can make something with that. Come on, get in the damn raft. Really? Really? Oh, there's like a ladder thing here, isn't there? Yeah, there we go. Well, that's pretty useful. Alright, so what are we going to do here? Let's grab these... Throw them down. Oh, don't fall out. Um, throw, throw down the, the food. Cool. I like the way this stuff stays in the raft. And let's get our knife and go back down. Gonna get that flashlight. Shut up, timer. I'm going a little late. All right, let's get back up top. Okay, let's go back down. We're gonna get that duct tape. I don't know what I can do with it, but I'm gonna do some research in between this and next video. Um, see what I can find out. Anything else in here? Oh, get up there, get up there. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. All right, I like the little the little uh, rope thing for the life raft because I've never seen a life raft with that stuff before. Oops. Actually, I want to see how that works. Oh, this thing's getting... Look at this thing. It's getting not... It's getting top heavy. Or it's, it's like sinking. You see how the raft is sinking because there's too much stuff on the one side? Wow, that's, in, that's, in, that's incredible. So when you put stuff on the raft, you got to kind of balance it out a little bit. All right, whatever. We're, this is, we're not going to... Well, maybe we should keep this game. I wasn't going to keep this game. I was going to start new next time I played. But since I lived, screw it. Let's get back and uh, we will actually keep this game. Hopefully we can save it. Most of these early access games have like problems. Well, not most of them, but some of these early access games have problems with saving. But uh, yeah, I was just going to start over for uh, episode three, but screw it. I mean, I'm doing pretty good here, so. Oh, it went under. All right, I gotta pick this stuff up. There we go. So I guess the thing can only hold so much, and you got you got to put it on certain parts of the raft, or it gets it gets too heavy on one side. That's really interesting. That's a nice touch. I really like that. I like that a lot. All right, guys, we're going to call this one here. So that is going to be it for part two. If you like this and you want to see more of it, please let me know. If you guys have any wikis out there or any tips and tricks, please let me know those as well. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you next time for part three. Till then, take it easy.